Hello and thank you for joining me. I'm Heather Forgan of stampwithnelly.com. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator in the UK. Today's project is this lovely little notepad that comes with a pen in there as well so that you've always got your notepad and your pen together. I'm using products um, from the Plain With Patterns suite and uh, for this one, I've used Knight of Navy, Playing With Patterns DSP, I've used Playful Alphabets. I've also used the smallest circle from the layering circle framelits um, to cut out those circles from Coastal Cabana cardstock. And I have just added on the letters for my notes on there. So the notepad um, is this one that I got from Wilco. Now, I think they were about 20 pence each. So it's three and a quarter inches wide by just a smidgen under four inches long. So um, a really cheap and cheerful little notepad 100 pages in it and it's lined. Now it does come with this really quite sturdy um, webbing on, on the top there so that um, when you take each page out it doesn't all just fall apart. So for the money I think they're wonderful. Um, so all I've done is that to keep that there is that I've just simply added some designer series paper to the front of it just to make it look a little bit nicer as well. I've used some of the ribbon from the suite um, that uh, just with little loops so that you can get your pen in and out. The pens that I'm using are um, Paper Mate Ink Joint Ink Joy Minis um, and they come in a pack that has quite a lot of different colours in them. Um, so you get a pack of 10 and there's, there's, as I say, a fair selection of different colours in there. So you'll probably find something that matches your designer series paper of choice. So I'll leave that one out. I'll use that one. So I've done a bit of the prep beforehand, in fact most of the prep, it's just really to show you how this goes together. So the card that I'm using is Knight of Navy again and this measures nine and a half inches by four inches. You need to do a bit of scoring on that. I've got a piece of designer series paper for the cover of the notepad and I need to do a bit of scoring on that. That measures five inches by three and a quarter. And then I've got another piece of designer series paper for the front of the cover and it is four and a quarter inches by three and three quarter inches. All of these measurements and the products that I've used will be on my blog and there will be a link to that blog post in the description bar below. So I'm going to start off and do the scoring with the, I'm just going to use my trimmer to do this and I want to score this on the long side at four and a half inches and five inches. Now I'm making this slightly bigger than the one that I did previously because there's a little bit of a bulge there with the pen being a little bit bigger than I had. I think I might have measured that bit instead of the, the wider bit there. So um, I've just added, I had done three eighths of an inch. I'm just upping that to a half inch on there. So I will use my bone folder just to reinforce those lines. so simple and easy to make but nice and practical little gift so for this piece this is for 
covering the notepad um, I simply want to score that at four inches and four and a quarter inches okay and that's all of the scoring done Let me fold that and that and then I am simply going to add that on there. It is slightly longer than the front of the notepad but I actually like that on notepads because I find it easier to open it than if I was trying to just get the um, the top piece that was flush with the rest. Um, just a personal preference, you could do it differently if you wish to do that. So simply a case of just adding glue to all of that because I'm just covering up what is already there. With a lot of notepads I do tend to just take the front cover off um, but as I say because that binding on it is so strong I don't want to lose that so just a case of covering it off easy peasy and also while I'm here I'm just going to add that piece of designer series paper love the patterns in this pack of paper it's all um lovely bright dots and stripes of all descriptions okay so i need to put that in there and i need to um add in my pen holder so coso cabana ribbon and bring my pen in. I'll put the cover out to the side just now and cover that up. So I, I really just want to make a couple of loops. This is a really nice sturdy thick ribbon and is perfect for this. Hold nice and strong. Okay so just a couple of loops and what I'm going to do is add a little bit of tear and tape to close the ends of that together. Just a little bit. tape's nice no mess just nice and strong um, obviously the loops will be being attached to the underside of the notepad as well so this is really just to make life easier to attach one bit instead of uh, attaching to two ends Okay, so I've got my two loops. I now just have to decide where I want them. So I want that to slide fairly far down. So I'm going to put one quite near the top, a bit closer to the top than I did on my last one. Don't have it too tight. But again, I also don't want it to be too loose that the pen actually falls out. Do there. Bring that one in and keep that quite near the bottom as well. Maybe up a little bit actually. Bring that to there. Another bit of tear and tape will hold that in place. And I'm going to just take the backing off that. I 
And again, I could have continued with tear and tape, but I've got my liquid glue here and it's quicker for me. Just to add that all over the back. Bring my cover back in. Make sure I've not turned it the wrong way around or anything. I've still got that on there. And I'm just going to pop that in. Like that. So it will be a little bit further over to this side so that you can accommodate your pen there. A little bit of extra glue there. No problem. Okay. So that does fit a little bit better that way. Just a case of adding the decoration, which is nice and easy. I've already gone ahead and done all my die cutting and I've glued most of those bits. I had to do that bit straight away because I probably would have lost that little dot. Um, but you don't need to, to sit and watch me gluing letters to circles. So just simply putting your letter in the middle of your circle, close as you can. Now, I just simply roughly laid them out where I wanted them, just pretty much eyeballing it. I never know which way around the ice goes, but that way or that, no definitely that way. Now, okay, so I want to move them up a little bit, across that way a little bit, happy-ish with that, yep, and then just simply gluing them on. So put that in there, and we'll use that. As the basis for the rest of them. So I'm just trying to make sure that I've got the same gap at the top. If you are a perfectionist you would obviously get your ruler out. Make sure I'm not that much of a perfectionist. And with that one, I'm just simply sliding it so that they're just touching. Same with that one. And that's the benefit of the, the wet glue, is that you can slide it about a little bit more. Now normally I would like to embellish my projects a little bit more, a little bit of bling or something like that, but the intention is that this goes into a handbag, a briefcase, laptop bag, whatever, um, and so I don't really want anything on the front that could get caught and, and potentially just rip off. So nice and easy project, but lovely little practical gift for someone. I hope you've enjoyed these. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you've got time, I'd love to read a comment. And if you're new to my channel, then please click on the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye bye.